was wondering about today. Wait, what? <laughs> morning routines. You know, the things you do every morning to get ready oh, for yeah. the day. Oh, like brushing your teeth or brushing your hair. <laughs> or that tickles. <laughs> Elmo wants to find out more about routines. Hey, let's ask Elmo's friend, Smarty. Let's call her together. Oh, oh Smarty! Smarty. <laughs> Here I am, answering your call. It's what I do every day as part of my routine. Well, that's perfect, Smarty, because Elmo wants to learn all about routines. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We, we look, look it up. up. Searching. Here you go. There are lots of things that might be part of a morning routine. Things that you do every day, like eating breakfast, brushing your teeth, toothpaste, brush, rinse and spit, getting dressed. And once you're done with your morning routine, you're ready to start your day. Wow! Thanks, Smarty! You got it, Elmo. Well, I'm off to recharge my battery. Just part of my routine. <laughs> See ya! Bye bye! <laughs> Boy, that gives Elmo an idea. Let's play a game together. Come on! <laughs> this kid is going to brush her teeth as part of her morning routine. Let's try to put the pictures in order. What should she do first? Is it this? No, you put the toothpaste on your toothbrush. So this one comes first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That comes first. So what comes next? Is it this? No. No, she has to brush her teeth before she spits it out. Right. She has to brush her teeth up and down and all and then she spits? Yeah, and then she spits. Oh, that makes sense. First, she puts the toothpaste on the toothbrush. Then she brushes, then she spits. That's it. That's the right order. Oh, yeah. It's important to do your morning routine in order. And that makes Elmo wonder even more. Does Mr. Noodle have a morning routine? Hey, let's ask him, okay? Hi, Hi Mr. Mr. Noodle! It's Mr. Noodle's brother, Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle, can you show us your morning routine? Mm -hmm. You know, do your routine. routine. The things you do every morning to get ready for your day. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, Mr. Noodle has his clothes. He's going to get dressed. Take your pajamas off. Then put your clothes on. Yeah, there you go. That's, That's right. right. What does Mr. Noodle do next in his morning routine? Yes, you have breakfast. Is there something you do before you eat, Mr. Noodle? Uh, he is dancing. Is dancing part of the morning routine? It is for Mr. Noodle. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Noodle. Have a good morning! <laughs> Boy, learning new things makes Elmo so happy, it makes him want to dance! Come on! Happy, happy dance, dance! Happy, happy dance, dance! When we learn something new, we do a happy dance, dance! Let's see your happy dance! Yeah, cool! See you next time! Keep learning! Up. 
say, ah, ah. <laughs> Good chicken. Boy, Emma wants to learn all about doctors. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Did I hear someone say doctor? Does Grover know about doctors? Is this a doctor or what? That's a duck. Huh? Grover, that's a duck. Oh. Well, of course it is not a doctor. It is a quack. <laughs> a doctor would be... It would be... Oh, I am sorry. I do not know what a doctor is. Uh -oh. It's okay, Grover. What do we do to learn something new? We, we look, look it up. up. Let's get a checkup <laughs> on doctors. Doctors help you get better when you're sick. If you're hurt, or when you just need a regular checkup. Pediatricians are doctors that help kids. Pediatricians use all kinds of tools, like an ear thermometer to check your temperature. They listen to your heart with a stethoscope. Sounds good, Doc. And check inside your mouth and throat with a tongue depressor. Sometimes doctors give you shots to keep you from getting sick. There are all kinds of doctors, like dentists who take care of your teeth, or optometrists who take care of your eyes. No matter the kind of doctor, they all want to help you be healthy. Boy, being a doctor is really important. Mm. They help people every day. Mm. Hey, that gives Elmo an idea. Oh, oh, oh. Let's play a game together. Oh, yes, I love <laughs> games. Yeah, let's play a game. Hey, do... oh, oh. <laughs> Are you ready? To give this little monster a checkup, the doctor needs to check their heartbeat look in their mouth and take their temperature. Well, first the doctor needs to check the patient's heartbeat using the rubber chicken. The rubber chicken? Calvin, a rubber chicken isn't the right tool to check heartbeats. No problem, we will simply try again. What if we try the stethoscope? Sounds good. Now it is time to check the monster's mouth. What should the doctor use? Use the stick. Use the tongue depressor. Ah, uh, looks good. The last thing the doctor needs to do is check the patient's temperature. A thermometer. Yay! We helped the doctor give a checkup. <laughs> Boy, Elmo loves learning about doctors. Hmm, me too. Hey, that makes Elmo wonder even more. Oh, does Mr. Noodle know about doctors? Noodle? Oh, no spaghetti for me, thank you. No. Grover, Mr. Noodle. Hmm? Oh, let's ask him. Hey, Mr. Noodle! Oh, it's Mr. Noodle's sister, Miss Noodle. Hi, Miss Noodle. Hello, Miss Noodle. Oh, Miss Noodle, do you know what a doctor wears? Oh, you do? Oh, oh, show us what a doctor wears. Yeah, yeah show, show us. us. That's not a doctor. She's dressed as a clown. <laughs> Very funny, Miss Noodle. But remember, Miss Noodle, doctors wear special kinds of clothes. She's dressed as a baseball player. Baseball players do wear special kinds of clothes, but they're not doctors. Try again, Miss Noodle. She's dressed, dressed like, like a doctor. doctor. That's right, Miss Noodle. That's what a doctor wears when they help people. Or teddy bears. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Noodle. Bye-bye. <laughs> Boy, learning new things makes Elmo so happy, it makes him want to dance. Come on. Monster, monster, dance, dance. Monster, monster, dance, dance. When we learn something new, we do the monster dance, dance. Let's see your monster dance. Yeah, cool. See you next time. Keep learning. Over two! Monster, monster, dance, dance! Monster, monster, dance, dance! When we learn something new, we do the monster dance, dance!
getting dressed, oh, let's ask Elmo's friend, Smarty. Let's call her together. Oh, oh Smarty! Smarty. Oh. <laughs> Hiya, Elmo. Uh -huh. Sorry it took me so long. I couldn't decide what to wear. This? Or this? Boy, that's a hard choice, Smarty. They both look great. Oh, but that's perfect, because Elmo has to learn all about getting dressed. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We, we look, look it, it up. up! Searching for getting dressed. I've got you covered. Getting dressed is something you do every day. Some clothes you have to button. And some clothes you have to zipper. And some clothes have laces that you have to tie, like shoes. And other clothes you just pull on, like socks and sweaters. Sometimes getting dressed can be tricky, but if you keep trying, you can do it. Just be sure to wear the right clothes for the weather. <laughs> Whoops, better try that again. <laughs> Thank you, Smarty. Shoe thing. <laughs> sure, shoe. <laughs> well, I better figure out what to wear. Bye, Elmo. Oh, bye, bye, Smarty. See you later. <laughs> Boy, getting dressed can be tricky. <laughs> that gives Elmo an idea. Oh, let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, Elmo wonders if we can help our friend get dressed for the different kinds of weather. Are you ready? Let's play! Look, this kid is on a cold mountain. What should they wear? The winter coat, the raincoat, or the tuxedo? How about the tuxedo? Not the tuxedo. Oopsie, the tuxedo looks really snazzy, but it's not warm enough for a snowy mountain. Try the winter coat. Looks like the coat is keeping them nice and warm. Now they're in the rain. How should they get dressed for the rain? Raincoat. Yeah, the raincoat will keep them dry in the rain. Hooray, we did it! Oh, boy, getting dressed sure is tricky. Oh, and that makes Elmo wonder even more. How does Mr. Noodle get dressed? Oh, let's ask him. Hey, Mr. Noodle! Oh, it's Mr. Noodle's brother, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle. Oh, Mr. Noodle, how do you get dressed? Wait a minute. Is that how you put on a shirt? No. It's on backwards. <laughs> oh, boy. The buttons go on the front. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Mr. Noodle. There you go. Keep going, Mr. Noodle. Okay, what comes next? Mr. Noodle, you have to put your pants on first, then your shoes. Silly. Take, Take your shoes, shoes off. off. There you go. Oh. Ta-da! Don't, Don't forget, forget your vest. Hey, <laughs> you did it, Mr. Noodle. Yay, Yay Mr. Noodle. Noodle. Oh, boy. Thank you for showing us how to get dressed, Mr. Noodle. Bye-bye. <laughs> Boy, learning new things makes Elmo so happy. It makes him want to dance. Come on. Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. When we learn something new, we do the happy dance, dance. Let's see your happy dance. Yeah, cool. See you next time. Keep learning. Elmo loves you. Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. When we learn something new, Yoga, and 
and wants to find out more about it. Oh, let's ask Elmo's friend, Smarty. Let's call her together. Oh, Smarty! Hiya, Elmo. Hi, Smarty. Guess what? what? I was doing yoga. Oh, <laughs> Smarty does yoga? You bet. My favorite poses are landscape pose and portrait pose. Oh, that's perfect, Smarty, because Elmo wants to learn all about yoga today. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We, we look it up. up! Getting to the center of yoga. Here we go. Yoga is a kind of exercise that comes from India. It helps people get stronger and more flexible. It's also a way for you to have fun with your friends and family and helps you focus keep calm, and become more confident. There are so many fun yoga poses to try, like flamingo, frog, and lion. So, what yoga pose do you want to try first, Elmo? Oh, Elmo wants to try the tree pose. Wow, you're terrific at yoga, Elmo. <laughs> well, gotta get back to my yoga. Namaste, Elmo. Namaste. <laughs> Boy, Elmo loves doing yoga. Hey, that gives Elmo an idea. Oh, come on, let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. Look, these kids are practicing yoga. And their yoga poses look like these animals. Which animal is this boy posing like? The flamingo. Yeah, a flamingo. And how about this girl? She looks like she's ready to jump. The frog. Yeah, the froggy. And how about this girl? Which animal is she posing like? The pigeon? No. How about the lion? Yeah. yeah. She's doing the lion pose. Yeah, we did it. Yoga's so cool! Oh, and that makes Elmo wonder even more. Does Mr. Noodle know yoga? Oh, let's ask him. <laughs> hey, Mr. Noodle! Oh, it's Mr. Noodle's brother, Mr. Noodle. Hi, Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle, Elmo was wondering, do you practice yoga? <laughs> you do? Oh, show us how you do yoga, Mr. Noodle. Yeah, yeah show, show us. us. Mr. Noodle's playing with the yo-yo. That looks like fun, Mr. Noodle, but that's not how you do yoga. Yoga is an exercise with different poses. He's pretending to be a model. Very fashionable, Mr. Noodle. But not those kind of poses. In yoga, people do special poses and deep breathing. Keep trying, Mr. Noodle. You'll get it. Elmo so happy, it makes him want to dance! <laughs> 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 Elmo, 